Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Bauer Hyperlite Blocker compared to the Bauer Supreme Ultrasonic. Um, so this is my obviously custom one with the Odin graphic, but this is an ultrasonic and there's no real options for the blocker itself. I have a video up going over the Hyperlite and the 2X Pro differences and features, which also talks about their new Pro custom option, which is the two p it's called the two piece it's really the one x and i also have the whole set review or snapshot review of the gloves comparing the gloves the pads comparing the pads of uh, the supreme and vapor 2x pro and to everything hyperlight so check all those out links are in the description before we start the actual video itself this getting this set and doing these videos almost didn't happen it's getting more difficult for me to actually do these snapshot reviews and get like demo sets to actually use and do these videos on. So if you like this content and you want to see more of this style of content, please reach out to the companies on social media and let them know you want to see me review a demo set. Cause like I said, it's getting harder for me to get this. And this video wasn't going to happen until someone came in clutch. So huge thank you to them for that. But yeah, just let like companies know, for example, Vaughn, if you want to see Vaughn stuff, if you want to see CCM videos, let them know on social media or on their way through contact us. And it would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to have to end up buying a lot of stuff instead of actually just borrowing it. So that is going to be really expensive. So if you want to support the channel for that, and so I can keep making content and you live in the United States, check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey, Pure Goalie, anything through there, anything you purchase through there gives me a kickback. So I keep doing videos and all that will come right back into the channel. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel, check out Patreon, buy me a coffee, same thing. Everything goes through there. will come right back in to support the channel so I can make videos like this and actually do real reviews on gear like the ultrasonic stuff. So I was critical in the past of Bauer having this glove and not the two piece because I, I figured the hand position and stuff is too close to the Supreme, so it didn't really make sense to me. So while the hand position of these two blockers is basically the same and the weight of them is basically the same, this one was like 980 grams. This was like 981 grams. So it's basically the same. They actually feel really different on your hand. So I really understand why these are two separate blockers and why they exist in their own right. The board size is substantial and that's what makes these feel really different between the two obviously the supreme is much thicker and the vapor is smaller all throughout especially when it gets down there the difference on this when you're actually wearing it this one your hand feels a lot closer to the board and it feels like a tighter fit basically so when you're here it's not like it's a loop like the supreme is at loose but it just feels like there your hand is closer to it because there's less between the two that it almost feels like it's more balanced where this one definitely feels more, I'm gonna say old school. It does have like a little bit of slop compared to it just because of you do have that bit there and that the palm does feel a little bit bigger than what the is on the Hyperlite, but this is fine and the balance on this is still really good and everything and I have no issues with it, but it definitely does have a slightly different feeling than what this one does. So I totally understand why Bauer went that route and decided to, well, same hand position, but kind of a different feeling. So I can't complain about Bauer offering the hand position the same anymore because they, they hit that with the two piece and I love this block and I think it's really good that they now offer that hand position. So I get why this exists and it's totally an option that just feels a bit tighter to your hand than what the Supreme does. One of the big differences still with these two gloves though is the sideboard. So the sideboard, obviously they look different too, but this one is a bit softer. So you can see it bend in. It does feel a bit stiffer than the old one, but it still bends a little bit where the ultrasonic is like, doesn't move at all. Like that's a lot of effort. And this thing is just solid where this one is a little bit more flexible. As you can see, I had no issues with my two X pro on this. So I can't see any issues here. And I think it's still built really well. The other big difference here is on the index finger protection. The ultrasonic, in my opinion, is the more, the better one it has this piece right here that kind of stops pucks from going into there this is velcroable and moves but it also has the pieces underneath as well so the hyperlite decided to add a feature that the 2x pro didn't you can check my comparison video for that um, but the hyperlite as you can see doesn't have that piece right there it does have this kind of jut down but it does have a piece added back here and that is like velcroable and movable so it does add a little bit more protection on there that wasn't there before. So while I think the hype, the ultrasonic version is still better overall, it's still a solid design on the Hyperlite and it should be pretty solid. I had no issue with 2X Pro, but I do understand there are some gaps there that could happen and that goalie block thing might be helpful for that. I never had issues with this glove or any of my gloves, honestly. Or the other thing that's really similar to this glove now is the palm itself. So it uses the same type of elastic fingers that were on the ultrasonic. So these were adjustable so you can move them up or down and how close this finger piece comes and it's molded towards your fingertips just like here. So this is all the same idea as you can see with this Velcro piece in here, which is great because that was a great feature and super comfortable palm and really gives you good index finger protection or fingertip protection when you close it like this. 
The design is a little bit smaller on the Hyperlite, but it does cover, I feel a little bit better than what it did on the ultrasonic. So I don't really see any issues with it there. The palm itself is a similar looking material, but it's much softer on the ultrasonic than it was on, than it is on the Hyperlite. The Hyperlite feels like just a normal Nash where the ultrasonic felt like a Quattro and like the AX suede. They're both comfortable. Um, I had some overheating issues with this. So this one might help with that because it was so soft and maybe the material, this might heat a little bit better there. I'm not sure. Um, the other thing that is really similar now is this cuff. So you can see it is a molded foam on both of these. So no longer you have that piece going across. It is just a molded foam. I don't know the exact reasoning on how this, like why they went this route, because it doesn't really allow you to flex as much as the old versions did, but it's fine. And it I've had zero issues with the flex or mobility with the ultrasonic and this is basically one of my favorite blockers to date so i mean that's a good praise for me there so i like that how that is there again similar with that the one difference that's slightly disappointing to me and this is happening on all the hyperlite stuff is the material they use here is no longer their thermocore which is supposed to dry itself when it like with your body heat to when it gets wet and there's no more abrasion zones here it's just a sure grip material on the cuff right there. So something I think is a little bit cheaper in the sense on the Alt Hyperlite than what it used to be, but it's still a fine design. This is still really comfortable in your hand, so it's not a big deal there. The one thing that they, this glove does do differently than the Ultrasonic is it does have a little wire piece right here. So that's a little abrasion guard kind of going along this line right here where it didn't exist on the Ultrasonic at all. So that's about it between these two gloves. They're on really similar hand position, but feel very different to actually wear and play with. I have zero issues recommending either of them. They're both excellent. Uh, Bauer does a really good job on blockers and this is no different. You're gonna get massive rebounds on here. You're gonna get pretty solid protection all around. Like sideboard is gonna be really good too, which Bauer has always been really good on. Hopefully this video was helpful. And like I said, this video almost didn't happen and it was thanks to someone coming in the clutch for me. So if you do want to see more content like this, please reach out to companies on social media and let them know you want to see me do reviews of stuff. Helps get me on the radar. Hopefully I can get demo sets. Like I said, I'm not asking for free custom stuff at all or free sets at all, just demo sets. I'm happy to do, happy to send back just so I can talk about the differences and stuff like that and how things will play. But if you want to support the channel so I can keep making content and doing reviews on like worn gear like this stuff and you live in the United States, check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey, Pure Goalie. Click that link, make a purchase, gives me a kickback so I can keep doing videos like actual gear review videos. As well, if you want to support the channel, check out Patreon, buy me a coffee, links are in the description and it would be greatly appreciated. Check out all the other videos on this line that in the description as well and in the playlist. So yeah, take it easy. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.